Hi, I'm Dave Lomax, and this is Adventure Specs FAQs. Tire pressure affects performance of a motorcycle in a pretty simplistic manner. When you're on tarmac, uh, a recommended manufacturer's tire pressure gives you the best safety, security and stability on roads. And most of you will be familiar with that. Once you start to move on to non-hard pack surfaces, the softer the ground gets, the more difficult it is for your tire to bite. And the best way to improve your tire's ability to grip and bite is to reduce the pressure so the tyre can deform more and find more grip, purchase and dig on the ground. Now the question is, when I get to a point where my front tyre feels like it's sliding away from me or I'm trying to make forward progress and my back wheel is spinning up, how do I know how much I have to reduce my tyre pressure by? Well, to give you an example, um, if you're suddenly moving from a hard packed ground into something like a sandy rut and you're not used to riding sandy ruts, you'll find the bike behaves very, very strangely. And you'll want some extra confidence. So for instance, when I'm away, if I have a lot of luggage on the back or I'm on a new bike, I'm not quite sure, I start to feel unsure, I'll reduce my tire pressures by increments of five PSI at a time and wait to see if the bike handling improves. In some cases, this year at Christmas, I was back down in Morocco riding some sand dunes. I found that lowering the tire pressures by 15 PSI on my Motos Tractionator Ralzees made the difference between me being able to climb over the top of a sand dune and out of a bowl and being stuck in the bottom of it. So it really can make a significant difference. But be aware, the lower your tyre pressure, the more you run the risk of punctures. And so there is a fine line between too little air pressure and too much, hence dropping in increments to the most of the least tyre pressure you can get away with. 